Okay, so quick backstory before I get started. I do furniture assembly professionally for my business through an app called TaskRabbit. When I first started, I was getting paid 25 bucks an hour, but since then, because of experience and because I've gotten much faster at doing it, I am charging $43 an hour. So number one tip for you would be to really, really pay attention to the instruction manual. Do not think that you can figure it out on your own without reading the instructions because there are so many different hardware in there, so many different screws and just step by step of why you need to do those things in order. So what I like to do is I grab a clean towel, lay it on the floor, whether it's on carpet or it's on hardwood floor, I always lay it on a clean towel and I grab the tools that I need. And let me go through that real quick. So number one is a power drill. I have a DeWalt one, you could get a cheaper one if you want it, but if you're doing things like furniture assembly or home repair stuff professionally, I would definitely recommend a DeWalt or something um, along these lines of something that's cost effective, but also good quality. And then I also take out channel locks or you can get some kind of adjustable wrench or some kind of plier or whatever it is because you just never know. You need something like this because sometimes whether it's hardware that got bent during shipping or something falls in some kind of pilot hole that's already been made for you and it's just stuck in there, you need something like this. And I also carry um, needle nose pliers in my tool bag too, but something like where you could reach in and pull something out because that will definitely happen whether it's your fault or not. Um, Another useful tool that I take out onto my little towel is a six in one screwdriver. You don't have to get a six in one, you can just get a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Um, but sometimes it's just easier to have one where the Phillips head and the flat head is interchangeable in case you need it. And then the other very useful and almost common sense tools, box cutter and pair of scissors. Box cutter is great to open up your boxes, but when it comes down to little bags of hardware, it's just faster to cut it open with scissors. So these two, and this is not a necessary tool, but this is the most helpful kit that I own, and I'm so glad I have it. And I think my boyfriend have uh, purchased this from AutoZone or something years ago, and Basically, it is a 37 piece ratcheting screwdriver bits set. And it comes with like star bits, hex key bit, bits, um, Phillips, flathead, sockets, and then you have the ratcheting tool so it's easier to hold. When it comes to, I mean, any brand, Ikea, Home Depot, Target, Wayfair, whatever it is, it always comes with that very cheap um, Allen wrench. And if you have to repeat the steps of screwing something in and tightening and do this, do this over and over, it's gonna get very tiring to do with that little tiny handle that you have to use. So even if you have this, um, you know, interchangeable, easier to hold handle, you can use one of these tiny short bits and actually change it on your power drill. So you can um, skew things on with the hex key, with the star, whatever it is that you need. And honestly, every single job that I've had where it includes a hex, key, it includes an Allen wrench to tighten, I had had the same face or same bit for that screw um, in here. So this is definitely a great kit to have if you're doing uh, furniture assembly uh, professionally very very awesome and very useful tool and this I have no idea where you can get I'm sure you can kind of google it on Amazon or google it on Amazon Amazon search it on the internet um, but basically when you have those bookshelves or dressers where you have to add that backing in the back in the back the cardboard thin backing um, you have to hammer it all on there it's very helpful to have this little tool that came with one of my like target bookshelves i think and basically you put the you put the nail into this little slot i know it's kind of broken so it's kind of hard to see and then you put this this part at the edge of the bookshelf and then it just holds it for you so that it's easier to hammer so this is really great because you're 
most likely dealing with a very narrow space when you're hammering and this will make it so that it's very sturdy, stable, and you don't get those crooked lines where it cuts through the plywood and then you pretty much ruin the client's um, furniture. Which honestly I have done before and I always come clean about it and I dock off some time or I try to fix it if I can with like glue but if it just looks really messy, just humajang, then I just dock off time and let the client know and if they're pissed off and want me to dock off more time then I would be happy to do that but you know what things like that really does happen you just have to come clean and just move forward be honest to your client though that's the number one key rule that I'm trying to convey um another two things that I put onto my little towel is a regular 16 ounce hammer. I think typically a hammer is 22 ounces or a little bit heavier than this, but honestly, my arms are so friggin' weak. A 16 ounce hammer is pretty sturdy and heavy for me. And I also carry a mini hammer that I got from Harbor Freight. I think this was like four bucks, five bucks or something like that. And this is good in place of like a regular mallet because I feel like mallets are not very I don't know I feel like it's just one use but with a hammer you can take out the nail or take out the screw with this and it just feels like it has more multiple use rather than just a mallet so anyway I carry all of those things and with the pandemic we are required to wear gloves and a mask during every task which i am happy to do and i have adjusted and am comfortable doing but when it comes to assembling with gloves on with rubber gloves on it's very difficult to or it's very easy to rip through them with a sharp screw or whatever kind of hardware that you're working with so it really helps to have gloves you can have um you can use gloves like this i think this might be like for gardening or maybe it is for construction but i wear these gloves here and it's nice because it's easy to wash um, wearing gloves over your rubber gloves is really helpful in being able to grab all the hardware make sure nothing slips out and you're also not ripping through the rubber gloves as fast some tips would be just to be patient and to go as fast as you can and make money professionally. I know that it might sound counterintuitive to go as fast as you can when you're hourly, but if you do good work and if you're efficient, then your clients will be happy with you, more, way more happier and way more inclined to book you again, knowing that they're not gonna have a person coming into the home assembling something that's taking their sweet ass time, milking the clock. So I go as fast as I can. Sometimes I feel like I'm not even breathing because I'm going as fast as I can. And another side note to doing furniture assembly is you're getting awesome freaking exercise. So tip. When you're looking at the instruction manual, grab the exact pieces that you see. They don't label the hardware by the number or by the letter, or they don't label the hardware for you. So you just kind of have to look, match it by the picture. You also have to match the pieces by the picture. And if so, it is so important to grab the board and match it to the exact side. Make sure that you follow the instruction to the T and make sure that you're very careful when you're grabbing items, putting it onto the floor, putting it onto the rug. Be very delicate so you don't scratch it up, especially if you're doing it for a client, that you pick up things very lightly, very delicately, and treat it with as if it was a toddler. Okay, so a quick tools update, not very many, actually just two. I recently had a plumbing job and I returned this um, cheap Husky toilet auger and I replaced it with a $37, I think that includes tax though, $37 rigid three foot toilet auger. This is pretty heavy, um, but I just, I already used it on a job and it was just so much more quality. Like, ugh, so good. Like, I really like it. Definitely going to keep it. I have been carrying around um, all my screws and everything in, these uh in those talenti cups with the screw on that's actually pretty heavy duty i'm uh, not heavy duty but pretty good quality for just carrying ice cream so i've been carrying like a couple of those in my tool bag like one for screws and then one for miscellaneous but i've been 
needing different size screws or different size nails on the job and it just it's a pain to like pour out everything and figure out which size so i finally invested in a screws organizer container and i think you could also get these boxes at the hardware store but i wanted to just get one where i could well actually i have seen them and i just feel like they're so freaking expensive for what they are so instead i went on amazon and looked up jewelry organizer like beads organizer or something like that and i got this one for 5.97 on amazon and these little slots here so the longer ones you have to put on the very top part these longer slides or slots but these short ones like there's you can make them as small as you want or you can make them a little bigger or even bigger if you wanted creative options that's the brand so i definitely recommend using this this slides um right into my tool bag so yeah that's a new tool update i don't think i've purchased anything else since then i've returned some things like that real be uh sawzall because it was super heavy I do want to invest in a sawzall one day, but I just, I want to wait till I need it for a job. Yeah, Thank you so much for watching. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And uh, I will see you on Tuesday's video. Peace.